Ты делаешь звезд Гавайи, Машкар, Намаспит, Оля, Гавайо, Мустантонус. Today I'm going to show you three mudras, three mudras that you can use in order to activate or call the attention of the law of attraction in the universe so that you can uh, manifest something you want by, through visualization of the mind. The mind is very powerful, a very powerful tool uh, for you to use. And many of us don't use it in the right way, we use it in the wrong way. And that's why we get sick, because we just feed the negative stuff, negative ideas, and we keep growing the negative seeds. Let's take out those negative seeds and those negative thoughts, and let's insert positive seeds, positive images, positive feelings, happy feelings, spiritual feelings, all of this good stuff. So I'm going to show you three mudras today here on the channel. It's been a while since I posted something, but, uh, you know, sometimes a lot of work going on and other things in life. So here, let me go into the first one but before i go into it guys if you want to help this channel grow especially this video right now to go out to more people just give it a like a thumbs up it helps this video go out on youtube to more people and everything and remember to subscribe to the channel it's free and leave comments below what you think about this about spiritual life about movies about meditation about yoga about uh, all these mantras and everything and asanas types of yoga is one in integral thing with many branches. There's like the eight branch system of yoga that many people talk about, but that's for another day. So here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go from Envigado, Colombia. Here in Colombia, near Medellin. Let me just show you very quickly. I'm here in a park that was inaugurated this year. This used to be a, a bus, a, let's say bus lot where they used to park buses and fix tires, uh, punctured tires and whatever to be like a bus depot kind of a place but now it's a park maybe they transformed it into a park and knocked everything out it's a cultural park so anyway let's go into the mudras that you need to use to manifest your intention the first one i forget the names of these right now but it is the mudra for making an offering with flowers and you can make this offering of flowers to any deity you want form of god you wish to see to the universe to your mother, to your father, who's here or not here anymore, somebody very important in a positive way in your life. It could be through to uh, Sri Lakshmi or Sri Saraswati or Sri Hanuman or Sh Sh uh, Radha, Sri Radha or Sh uh, Kali, Sri Kali, and then, you know, anybody you want to shoot to Mahadev, you know, to Shiva. So you grab your hands and you put your two pinky fingers together right the edges of them together as such and then the other fingers you curl up and you keep it at your navel position at your navel height you try to keep your back straight but not straight where you're breaking your back but just straight like an antenna and at the navel position your navel meaning your belly button area here your navel and you can close your eyes if it works better for you keeping your two pinky fingers together and the other one the other fingers kind of curled up and Imagine, visualize that you're holding flowers, beautiful flowers, blossoming flowers in your hands at the navel position. And the intention is to offer it to whoever you want to offer it to. And you do this for a while while breathing slowly in and out in any area you want to. Wherever you want to do meditation, it doesn't matter as long as you feel connected to the meditation. It could be in this park, it could be at home in your bedroom, it could be in your living room, it could be in the forest, it could be in the jungle, it could be in the desert. Where you feel comfortable at the beach. Anyway, your office for a little while while you're on a break and nobody's around. Stuff like that. The second mudra is to grab your, your hands, your arms, and cross your wrists. And when you cross your wrists, you intertwine your pinkies, but not your ring fingers. You skip the ring fingers, and then you intertwine your heart fingers, and you intertwine your index fingers. And then you grab your thumb and your ring fingers and you connect them as such and hold them at your heart level. Close your eyes and then start to think about what it is you want to attract into your life, what it is you want to materialize in this life. And you think about it, what it is you want. Is it like me that I want to return to India in 2023? And I'm visualizing that with my eyes closed and breathing slowly in and out.
being conscious of my breath and visualizing what I want as if I were there now as if I were there now because the mind doesn't distinguish between reality and the mental images, the visualization and like this, this muda and then after you do that for some time and you do it every day in the morning or in the afternoon or in the evening the morning is the best time usually because that's when you're uh, well rested your mind is clear you're not tired you're not stressed from work or family matters or whatever or financial situations that are not good for you at the moment so in the morning is the best time when you wake up and take a shower you can do this early in the morning and the third mudra is the lotus mudra the other two I don't remember the names but I'll leave them in the description box and with the steps to follow anyway the third one is and remember to be visualizing is to be seeing yourself doing that in your mind with your eyes closed as if it were now with your eyes open it becomes more difficult because then a lot of information is being registered through the eyes into the mind but by closing your eyes the mind is only seeing your eyes lids closed so there's not all that interference in terms of the visual so that you can visualize better so you can see yourself or imagine what you want better so you can track it so the last one is the lotus flower you put your hands as such like this and then you keep your pinky fingers together and your thumbs together and you open up the other three and you bring it to your heart level or a little higher and then you start to visualize again by closing your eyes and breathing slowly in and out and you start to visualize the aromas the wind like right now i feel the wind here the the heat of the morning the light breeze passing through my arms and i try to keep my elbows out not too far out just out of far enough so i can open like this because if i push them out too far my elbows then my my, my lotus flower starts to close up but just keep them out far enough that allows your lotus flower to open up nicely and beautifully and just imagine that you're feeling visualize that you're feeling the place you want to be the idea the intention make sure your intention is clear where it is offered to and why you want it why is it important to you why does it matter to you this intention this thing that you want to materialize in the world in your life and just visualize it and that's it i hope you have a blessed morning afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world until next next time namaskar namaste enjoy life Stay happy, go lucky, stay blessed.